YouTube, Texan Libertarian here. I picked up some other stuff with that AK magazine. I thought I'd share with y'all real quick. First thing, this SKS bandolier. Nothing real fancy, just the one everybody's got. I'll talk about that in a second. Next, SKS sling. This is an aftermarket cheapy china. Nothing too special. I'd, actually, I'll talk about that in a minute. That's I'm gonna have to gripe about that for a minute. And lastly, this SKS broken shell extractor. Nothing's wrong with my SKS, if you're wondering. I just thought I'd pick it up. Two bucks, three bucks, somewhere in there. You can't go wrong. Just in case. You never know. Anyway, talk about this SKS bandolier real quick. It's, uh, I believe it holds 180 rounds, is what I heard. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> I believe it's 180 rounds. And a cleaning kit, right here. It just kind of latches with these little wooden toggles. Really nothing too fancy. Um, just kind of gets the job done. Pretty neat. Uh, I actually bought this more of a novelty than rather than for using and taking to the range. It's just kind of a neat little thing. I actually, I don't know if this is the exact one, but I saw something like this in a Vietnam book. It was a, uh, uh, Viet Cong or North Vietnamese army. I'm not real sure which one soldier. He had a SKS and he had one of these things on and it just kind of caught my eye. I remember seeing that when I was younger and I thought that was really cool. Now I got an SKS. I felt like I needed one of these. This one seemed to be the closest thing to what I remember it looking like, but, uh, they have a couple other ones available. This is just the one that I picked up. I actually purchased another one, but I don't want to show it yet just because it's kind of special. It's kind of neat. I haven't found any videos on it, but it's been up for a long time. So I don't know if I'm just stupid and I picked it up and I shouldn't have because it's crap. It does feel real stiff, but I feel like I can take care of that with some like saddle soap or something. Um, but anyway, so that's that. Nothing too crazy. Everybody's got one. It's uh, a little bit too small for me, but that's okay. Like I said, it's just a novelty. I'm not going to use it. Chinese characters on the back. Pretty neat. Really nothing too fancy. I just like that. It's just kind of a cool... This Chinese military is really neat. I have to say, it's really high quality, too. I'm, I'm impressed. I knew their military stuff was pretty good, but this stuff just really is neat. Anyway, now on to the... One thing that really does bother me, uh, this sling. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this thing is really good. Maybe this thing is just, you know, total quality. Maybe it's exactly what a real sling is like. But this thing just feels... I mean, the, the webbing bit, or whatever you would call this, doesn't feel bad. It feels like any other kind of sling. But this right here, this doesn't even feel like real leather. It feels like it's a fake faux and leather and this thing is this is a plastic little button here not button but you know what i mean that uh little loop thing there that's plastic i don't know the sks feels really heavy i feel like this, i wouldn't want to put this thing on my sks for fear of it breaking and dropping my rifle i don't know this feels metal so maybe this is metal and i'm just weird and i can't you know I just can't decide. <laughs> anyway, so this is out of everything I purchased. I still have two more things to show, um, but just kind of, yeah, I, I wouldn't buy one of these. I don't know. Maybe I'll have to test it. I'll do an update. Anyway, well, you all have a great day, and uh, I'll see you all later.